I love friends and I love snacks. <laughs> Kevin, the most interesting man in the world, my buddy who lives in Manhattan. We got to talking about Kit Kats. Mm -hmm. And Kev just so happens to have a connection uh, to some European Kit Kats. <laughs> I, I, that's just in his back pocket, of course. Now you, you know? <laughs> okay. And that's why he's the most interesting man in the world. Exactly. <laughs> so we have here, we're going to have a little taste test for snack time. Mm -hmm. We have here an American Kit Kat uh -huh. that you've known your entire life. Uh, and they are distributed by Hershey's. And then we have here a European Kit Kat and they are distributed by Nestle. I like the Nestle packaging better. You do? It's a little darker and a well, little and more I like that it's shiny. Shiny. Yeah. See, that's where I'd put sparkles around it. Shiny. Now, check your stash <laughs> over here. You've got the same thing I have. Yes. You've Ooh. got an American one and a Euro one. Ooh, la, la. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do, la, la. <laughs> Brief history of Kit Kat. I believe the company that created it, it's a British company. So so Kit Kat is a, a UK product mm -hmm. um, called Roundtree, I think, in 1935. Which also, can I just point out, Kit Kat sounds British. It does. You know? In fact, I you think there was, a Kit Kat? <laughs> there was a dish made of mutton like a few hundred years earlier uh -huh. called the Kit Kat. Really? I don't think it had cat in it, but... I mean, I hope who knows? not. That'd be a bummer. <laughs> who knows what they did yeah. in the yeah. 1600s? Well, I mean, if Mrs. Lovett was running it, then no, because she can't catch a cat. <laughs> the best pies in London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so in 1970, Kit Kat had Hershey uh, begin distributing them in the United States. Mm -hmm. And then somehow, like in 88, Nestle got the world right, worldwide rights to Kit Kat. Oh, interesting. So pretty much, you know, we think we in the U.S. know what's up. Um, but the rest of the world, everybody outside the U.S. thinks that Kit Kat is a Nestle product. Interesting. Now, wait a minute. What are you, how are you eating yours? Okay. I'm going to eat it like this. Right. Although, did you know Kim K has like a special way of eating a Kit Kat? Really? Mm-hmm. I couldn't. Not that it matters or anyone should care. Kim K care less <laughs> right? about her Kit Kat <laughs> consumption. But yeah, so she eats like the mm. outside part first, which also this chocolate is so much better. Mm. But yeah, she like eats the top and the sides first. Okay. I guess. I don't know. Mm. I don't remember. But yeah. Mm. Okay. We've Holy had crap. one Nestle finger. That's really good chocolate. I don't know if it's really good. Mm. It's good. It's candy bar good. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we're going to try the U.S. Mm -hmm. And this should be nothing to write home about. It should taste like a Kit. We all know what a Kit I Kat tastes like. I feel like that, that uh, wafer is airier than an average Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that you go with the bunny method. <laughs> I did. Mm -hmm. I just... Jammed it in and fed it through. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, just doing little chomps. There is a slightly different taste, isn't there? No, I haven't gotten to it yet. Would you? <laughs> okay, and I don't mm. want to plant any thoughts in your head. I don't want to taint the sample. I already know what I want to say about this. I would say that the Hershey's distributed Kit Kat is a little more milk chocolatey. Mm-hmm. It's got a more vanilla undertone to it, too. Oh, Okay. Like, it's got a much heavier vanilla note to it than the uh, Nestle Kit Kat. What would happen? I'm going to feed one in the left side and one in the right side. <laughs> hmm. Let's try this. I might like the American one better. Just because I do tend to like a much lighter chocolate. <laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> Can you fit them all in? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I've just had a snack accident. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to do it again too. A midnight snack today. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I have a preference. I do. But I'm grateful for um, Kevin's Kit Kats. Oh, me too. <laughs> which, do, which do you prefer? Do you prefer the Euro Trash version? I prefer the American version. Uh huh. It's just a, first off, I don't actually like <laughs> chocolate that much. I prefer white chocolate. Okay, right. So I really like lighter, more vanilla type flavors, like cakey flavors. Yeah. Like if I'm going to go out and get an ice cream, it's probably going to be like a cake batter ice cream. Or lately, I've been just crazy about this uh, circus animals ice cream that I found at Brolem's. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's got like the little circus animal cookies in it and everything. 
Oh. And the ice cream itself tastes like, even if it didn't have the circus animals in it, right. it tastes like the frosting of a circus animal cookie. Oh, it's so good. But that's like my favorite kind of like sweet flavor, you know? So anything chocolatey, I'm not super into. And I feel like the American Kit Kat, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm about to have a snack spin. I'm going to yeah. choke on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Chocolate like really does a number on the throat. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I like how much more vanilla flavored the um, American Kit Kat is. Although I do like the wafer of the European Kit Kat better. Okay. It's a little airier and I think a little like softer. I too am going to say I I prefer the American Kit Kat. Mm-hmm. So that's the clear winner here. We're both agreed on that. Yeah. And now we have some other fun stuff. Should we start with the the one that we can't really tell what it is? I think it's supposed to be a whole wheat Kit Kat. Yes, let's start with that. Hold yeah. it up. <laughs> Japan, for whatever reason, loves Kit Kats. Right. And so to increase sales there, they've they've released, no kidding, 300 flavors of Kit Kats in the last 23 years <laughs> since the year 2000. That's a lot. I wonder if they're out year round, though. Lemon, caramel. I've heard good things about the lemon. Ginger ale, creme brulee. Banana. <laughs> All right. How's this? How do we like this one? It does taste. It tastes healthier. It tastes less chocolatey. Yeah. And there's you know, definitely more cookie inside. It kind of reminds me of Teddy Grahams. Kind of, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There, and there's definitely a wheat flavor there. Mm-hmm. Almost like a wheat cracker flavor or a wheat cookie flavor, a wheat biscuit. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. You know, honestly, like if I was on a health kick and I couldn't handle sweet things, because that'll happen. Like if I'm eating lots of vegetables, Mm -hmm. that's why I'm into sweets so much right now is because I'm eating like trash. But (laughs) (laughs) but when I'm on a health kick. I mean, it's it's the holiday season. Right. But when I'm on a health kick, like strawberries are as sweet as I'll go. Yeah. But like this, I could handle when I'm on a health kick and all I want are veggies. Speaking of strawberry. Mm, Yeah, let's do the strawberry one next. And I know you're a huge strawberry fan. I love strawberry. Yeah. I'm so excited for these. I'm probably going to eat this entire bag by myself. Like, you can go to hell. Whoa. (laughs) That's... Mm. Mm. Oh, my gosh. This is my new favorite candy. That is is mind-blowing. This is so good. That's That's not just the typical... Sprinkle. Remember, we were talking about how, why the macrons from Cooking with Kent are so mm, good. Mm-hmm. He loaded them up with all that flavor. Mm-hmm. They have a surprising amount of strawberry flavor. They have an excess. It's almost like a, a strawberry surplus. soda. I didn't realize that they'd be so tangy and tart. Yeah, they're almost like a strawberry lemon. First, you get the Nestle Quick artificial strawberry taste, mm-hmm. but then you get a couple more notes of fuller, richer strawberry taste. I'll mm-hmm. be danged. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like if you took real strawberries and then you put them in a cup of strawberry milk because you get the artificial right. flavor and you get the real flavor of yeah. strawberry. Okay, let's finish <laughs> up now with, okay, we ran this through Google Translate as well. These are Uji Matcha. Uh-huh. So I guess Uji Matcha is the best kind of matcha. Oh, okay. But what's matcha? It's basically it's green tea. tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's powdered green tea. So we're going to finish our Kit Kat experience with some green tea Kit Kats. Yeah, which I love matcha tea. And I think, by the way, the whole the whole beginning to this conversation was a few weeks ago mm-hmm. when we went to Salt Lake for Sting, and I couldn't keep it in my pants. We had to go to World Market, even though we usually reserve that for our holiday trip to Salt Lake. Mm-hmm. We had to go. Right. And we got all sorts of weird stuff, including Jelly Belly Soda, which maybe we should try next time. Oh, yeah. We need to try that. Um, And that's when we started talking about all the cool Japanese candy. Right. Well, and I love matcha flavor. Like, my favorite matcha in town is actually a little local business called Queen Bean. She's a coffee truck that drives around. And Angie sold it. She did to a new family. Yeah. And are they still running it? As far as I know, yes. Okay, cool. And they seem really nice. All right. But anyway, the farmer's daughter, which is basically a lavender matcha latte. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It's so good. All right. Better than Starbucks. Like Starbucks can go to hell by comparison. (laughs) But like. That's the second (laughs) entity you've told to go to hell on this show. All right. I guess we're feeling saucy tonight. I guess so. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Mmm. That's matcha-tastic. 
surprisingly earthy tasting for mm-hmm. a candy. If you don't like matcha, you won't like this. If you do like matcha, you're going to love this. This tastes just like matcha pokey or pocky, however you want to call them. Oh, yeah. The which little, I also the love. The pocky sticks. Mm-hmm. I think that they're okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I do like weird tastes. Mm. You know me. I like black licorice. Right. I like grandma's little spice drops. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. You know, again, if I was on a health kick and I just wanted something like semi-sweet, this would be perfect. It is. It's semi-sweet. Yeah. And you know, you hear a lot of complaints from Europeans when they come over about, say, like they'll order a cheeseburger from McDonald's Mm -hmm. and they'll say, I can't believe how sweet your bread is. What are you guys doing? Right. So we're, and we, and we should all know by now, anybody over the age of 30 should know that uh, fat is not the real enemy. It's sugar. Right. And we've got it in everything. Everything. Well, I mean, really, American bread is basically just cake. Yeah. Like that's, everywhere else, it's cake. <laughs> that's what they, yeah, that's what they called it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was great. Thank you, Kevin. A lot of fun. Really appreciate you doing that. He was going to do it a few weeks back, uh-huh. but he said, dude, it's still like 70, 80 here. So I don't want to put them in the mail. Kind of like the Oreos we were talking about. Right, exactly. Yeah. We need to maybe check on ordering those custom Oreos again. I love that idea. But yeah, thanks, Kevin. That was really thoughtful and sweet of you. What a treat. Emphasis on the sweet. And so are you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Emphasis on the treat. <laughs> <laughs> what a snack you are, Kev. <laughs> Ooh la la. 